Hello. Hola. And bonjour, everybody. This is Doug. And Matthew. From McCurl Bros Bodybuilding. MB3. Three. And today we got a few we got a few comments actually asking about um, just uh, <laughs> clarifying on what exactly bulking is and stuff. And like, why would you bulk? Like, what's the point of it? And yeah, like... what's the point of getting fat and then just cutting back down? And basically, the whole reason is... Draw because... some snacks. <laughs> yeah, the whole reason is <laughs> uh, because <clears throat> when you're in a surplus of calories, it's going to be easier to put on muscle mass but at the same time, you're going to be putting on more fat. So you can actually gain muscle faster, but at the same time, you're going to get fatter. Yeah, there's basically three main goals if you are working out. One is to gain weight, one's to maintain your weight, and one's to lose weight. If you want to build muscle, you have to gain weight because you have to be in a caloric surplus, which means taking in more calories each day than you're burning mm -hmm. in order to gain muscle. And if you want to lose fat, it's just the opposite. You have to go in a calorie deficit because... <coughs> <laughs> it's literally the simplest thing <laughs> Yeah, ever. it's it, because if you want to lose fat or whatever, then you have to be burning more than you're taking in each day. So mm -hmm. that's basics. And then basically I was just saying, like when you're in an off season or whatever, you can say you want to eat whatever you want, but obviously everything's in moderation. Some days I'll be at school, I literally have like a donut for breakfast, hot dog, and a hamburger. And like for the rest of the day, <laughs> literally, it's like barely 2,000 calories and the worst calories ever. So I'm in a deficit of calories. They're terrible calories and it's just awful. But like I said, that's just like a one day thing. So if you have those days, yeah, that's too bad. But what are you going to do? Yeah, don't use it as just an excuse to just eat whatever you want and get fat because you're not going to gain any muscle. But basically... If you eat, like, sometimes it's, you, obviously, you can throw those things in, and it's even better sometimes because they're jam-packed with calories, which makes it even easier to get into a surplus. But obviously, like you are saying, you don't want to just eat that stuff because you'll just get fat then. You want to still have some good quality yeah. food in there, too. I was thinking the difference between, like, a cutting diet as far as macros go, like the three main macronutrients or whatever. What makes up calories, macros, yeah. fat, carbs, and protein. So... The percentages for cutting, a, like a classic, would be like 40% carbs, 40% protein, and 20% um, fat. That's just like a basic thing. Like, obviously, you can adjust it from there. But then we were saying, like, for bulking, you don't want to raise the fat too much, like we were saying. So maybe raise it to 25% fat. And the protein is about 30% protein. So that's actually lower, but you're a big thing to gain. Um, weight and size and mass. <laughs> I swear I know what I'm talking about is through carbs. So you raise that up to like 45% or almost half your whole diet. Exactly. And like the main point when people really watch like what Matthew is saying, like watch your macros on a bulk is when you want to go on a lean bulk. So you don't want to gain too much fat, but still gain muscle. Because like, as far as I do, I guess it's called dirty bulking when you don't really watch what you eat because I don't care that much if I gain a little extra mm -hmm. fat because I'd rather not pay attention to it because it just gets like overwhelming and yeah. you get tired of it counting your stuff every day. So I just make sure that I mainly get as much protein as I need and just make sure that I'm in a surplus and just eat enough food. And you kind of know, like once you do it for a while, you can kind of realize, like calculate about how much calories is in each thing that you're eating and just kind of add it up in your head, but not really pay too much attention to mm -hmm. it. And probably the best this is like the best case scenario would be gaining about like half a pound a week of just mass, like mm -hmm. a combination of fat and muscle. And now that's probably the best case scenario and you may think that's not much, but after like a summer, let's say three months, that's like 12 weeks, I guess. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, I guess so. And 12 weeks times 0.5, months, that's yeah. six pounds of like mass and that's just over the summer. So if you're doing that for a year, damn, like that's like 26 <laughs> pounds and what you mass, got and that's a lot exactly and you got to remember in that mass obviously that's not all muscle because you're going to be gaining fat too along with water weight and everything else that comes with it but you're going to get a good solid amount maybe like as little as it sounds if you're natural and you do really well you might gain like three pounds of muscle but that's actually a lot yeah i was going to say let's say you did the half pound each week for the whole year that's 26 pounds of mass it's probably good about 
like it would be really good like seven or eight pounds of muscle and like I said that's being very generous yeah like honestly now <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's like when I you like first start lifting yeah when you first start because then you start to plateau and right now I basically <laughs> I'm just like maintaining weight basically I I'm still trying to eat a lot but it's just a pain to eat basically Really First is. world problems. <laughs> yeah, <it's obviously. laughs> Seriously. Oh. But, anyway. Yeah, that's that's about the gist of the video. Yeah, just gives you a little bit, hopefully, better understanding on why you bulk or what the point is, and if that's one of your goals, then go for gold. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys like the video. Speaking of that, you can actually like this video. Throw it on a comment. And even subscribe. But remember, guys, there's always more on the way. So stay tuned. Hey. Uh, uh, now, gra let gravity do its job. Uh, uh. Uh, that's good for us. Now you'll see, we went up to about 90 pound dumbbells on this incline press. This is an unfortunate set to film, but, you know, I don't want to...